Now we will see production of thermoelectric. It means easily we can produce thermoelectric by using by doing a simple activity. You must be knowing about a pressure cooker everybody uses at home for cooking food. So now see for the production of this thermoelectric suppose you have taken a pressure cooker in this way here. It has got here you know a handle like this is here to hold it. At the top you might have seen what is over here there is a whistle through which a steam comes out as a steam comes out this whistle comes up rises up. So, here we connect a pipe. So, a pipe is connected here through this pipe here we just take here that is called actually turbines which has got wheels which is a wheel and it has got the blades like this like this blades. So, when a steam falls here these blades start rotating and now what happened? there is a we can take a device which is called dynamo. So, when this turbine rotates dynamo is connected to this and inside the dynamo there is actually coil and magnet as the coil rotates between the poles of magnet electric current is generated that we have done in electromagnetic induction. So, by rotating this turbine that means by rotating coil between the poles of the magnet that is inside dynamo we can get electric current. So, we obtain here electric current. So, this is very simple device or, or you can see very simple activity where we can generate electric current. So, now see here how do we use you know fuels for that. So, here fuels are used to heat the water here if you have taken the water. So, heating is done here. So, now this heating can be done by any way not necessary anything you can use now these days you can use LPG gas otherwise coal can be used petroleum can be used right gas, stoves can be used where we can use the kerosene oil all that thing. So, by using any device or by using any fuel we can heat the water here and we can generate electric current. So, there is one device or one you must be knowing thermal power plant which work on this principle.